お前の道はここで終わりだ見せてその先の力というものをっブリーチブレイブソウルズ Alright, guys, this is your bud, the Dash Master, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And today we are going to be tackling on Nightmare Gale Quest. And they really had to drop the Nightmare difficulty for one of the more annoying Gale Quests. And it's Squad Zero Human. Thankfully, it's not the ranged one, because if it were the ranged one, oh boy, everyone and their mother would have been. It would have been because、uh, the only good unit is Macy and you have no good side units. Whereas here, you actually have some good side units to use, but only one good main unit being Safi Tosh here. So, unfortunately, here, it's you either have Safi Tosh or Suffer on the guild, which is really terrible. I just don't think this was a good rotation to pick as a whole. And up next is going to be Ranged Hollow. Which at least it's gonna be a bit more doable because we have、uh, characters to use. People will have options. But this one, it's like you either have Safi Tosh or you're pretty much Yo,、uh、sad. Anyways,、uh, here's my team and setup.、Uh, I have Safi Tosh with the pill, T set, m i s a n g a Keep in mind,、um, we do not have killer stickers for like Squad Zero and Human, so we're kind of screwed over. Uh, Soyphone and Flyzen,、uh, Max Transcended, 500 SP, SP bonus ability, and this is in Common Shad, 1-5, level 10 SP, SP bonus ability, FSD and SP on the bonus ability for Toshiro, and then we have this in Common Tatsuki and、uh, Tsukishima. Now keep in mind, the NAD units are not immune to paralysis, however, I do have Toshiro with the shared complete status immunity, so he's actually going to be able to provide. The extra support to the NAD characters as long as I stay in the paralysis pools, which is gonna be a bit tricky, but、uh, yeah, anywho,、um, Bait, Chappie, Golden Chappie, NAD 30, and then some common Zengetsu and、uh, this Bond Ichigo that is 5 5, level 10 attack, attack bonus ability. And、uh, I gave her full stamina damage boost and start barrier as the、uh, bonus abilities because. Uh, Tosher does not protect your units at all besides inflicting status ailments. So I figure I might have gone with this one. Other than that, maybe the best choice would have been to go with、um, Attack and Focus. That's the bonus of both these. But I figure let's just try this. And、uh, yeah, Tsukishima, pretty much the same exact build. But I do have this Aizen 5 5, level 10 attack, 500 attack, attack bonus ability. And then these guys are just 1 5, level 10 attack. Uh, attack bonus ability, and that is all. And、uh, same exact abilities, although this time I did not give a Tsukishima full stamina damage boost and was attacked because I mainly use this character as a link. So,、uh, yeah, let's see. I could do a mix and match of these characters, but like, we'll just see how to go from here on out. So,、uh, let's just get started, okay? Okay, let's go and do this. Let's hit one. Okay, there we go. We got the boost, which is good. Let's just stay right over here. And let the NAD units cook. Nice. Okay, that's good. Oh, we froze Tenjiro, but unfortunately, we lost the SP boost. But that's still quite good. No cap. Okay. Oh, we got the SP boost again. That's crazy. Okay. You know, I, I don't even think we need to use the Soul Bomb here. What? Okay. Now we just gotta go ahead and nuke with our Soul Bomb. Boom. I think that was probably the fastest I've gotten, and consider this my Toshiro is only 3 5. Wow. Okay. That's really good. We got a 28 second remaining clear time. Woo! Okay. Yeah, that was good. That was actually really good. Considering that the only character I had Max Transcended was the Totsuki, but Tsukishima was only 3 5 and my Toshiro also only 3 5. So, yeah, that's good. It's just that, good god, we need a new uh, melee uh, Squad Zero human killer unit because Toshiro, in my opinion, for me, 
He's good, he clears, it's just that he just doesn't cut it for me for when it comes to all the RNG BS that he has. He has no increased status element chance, no 916 to homing vortex to even get an easier time with proccing the status element in. He only has frenzy plus one, by the way, which means that you have less of a chance of being able to inflict the status element compared to when you use a character with frenzy plus two, which isn't good. So let me know if you guys have actually managed to clear the guild quest and how hard it was. For me, it was an easy clear, but it was not easy to get a really good score. And like, I definitely cannot get above 30 seconds remaining at all, but I should be able to do so for phase two because, well, Maxion and old baby. But I mean. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your boy, The Death Smasher, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So have a wonderful day, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sayonara. Ciao, ciao.